So, I don't think we've ever seen a coach ejected for having a conversation with an opposing player before, but we got LeBron, we got Ime, everything appears pretty calm until the ref doesn't like what he hears, and boom, you get a tech, you get a tech, mass confusion. And how did we get here? Well, Ime already had a technical foul when Jabari Smith Jr. blocks AD at the rim, and just like my haircut in the 80s, it was clean up top, but not below. Now, watch Ime on the sideline. It appears as if he's saying nothing but his thoughts must have been pretty loud, and Ime doesn't even seem upset by it. And here we are in the fourth, when Shen Gun might have traveled in this play, LeBron yells travel, and is very upset, despite this being an easy foul call. Watch Cam Reddish walk into Tari Eason. Eason says, damn bro, but then he follows Reddish. Why they only called the tech on Reddish, I have no idea, especially as Eason got more and more animated. This was hilarious as Eason tried to shoot the tech while shooting 56% from the line this year, and Fred escorts him to the proper part of the floor so the 90% shooter can take it. But watch Eason step up to Reddish again. I'm sure LeBron was advocating hard for a tech on Eason, and this is where we pick up our little skirmish. Ime must be listening to LeBron complain about the lack of a tech and responds, I said stop crying like bitches, man. LeBron then tells Ime he shouldn't be using that word so loosely. Ime says, yeah, I said it. And I think he's wondering why LeBron is walking over to him and what he's going to do about it before calling him a soft ass boy. Now, it's unclear what LeBron was saying, but he might have used an adverb and then the P word here as he forcefully blows air out of his mouth. Whatever it was, look at the reactions it elicits from behind the bench. Rockets assistant and former Spur Tiago Splitter has got some real stink eye, but it might just be PTSD from seeing LeBron in person after this happened to him a few years back. This lady just heard something she can't repeat at the dinner table, but the guy next to her thinks it's amusing. And then this lady is like, "Oh, no you didn't. And this kid can't believe any of this is happening. They asked LeBron and Ime what was said after the game. Uh, Thanksgiving. How much we enjoyed Thanksgiving. It looked very friendly. Yeah, it was. We had some conversation and they didn't like what they heard, the refs. <laughs> Are you wondering if this beef goes back any farther than last night? Well, you might not remember, but Ime was also an NBA player and went up against LeBron eight times. And it seemed like LeBron targeted him every chance he got clearing out the side and drawing the foul as Ime protests. It seems like every time LeBron got the ball, he decided he was going to feast on Udoka with impunity. I'm not saying this was personal, but he clearly thought the newly signed free agent to the Blazers wasn't worthy of being on the court with them. But Ime was no slouch on defense, as he rips LeBron and gets the open court layup, but promptly blows it. Udoka then hobbles LeBron as he makes sure there's a body on him while he's trying to cut through. And I'm sure he was trying to stick around and make a name for himself as a tough-minded defender. So here he is picking up LeBron full court, being physical. But watch LeBron calmly bring him all the way to the other side of the court, patiently wait for the inside ball screen, get both feet in the lane, and then spin right by him for the easy lefty layup. Udoka might have thought he got LeBron on this pass and cut, but LeBron just blocks it off the backboard. But he may never gave up, stealing it back and earning an assist. Maybe LeBron remembered some of the physicality, as Udoka trips him in the lane a little bit, then takes him to the ground on the duck-in move and stepping over him for good measure. Or he was just mad that Udoka stole his pass on the break so easily. It was fascinating to find so many clips of LeBron just cold going at Ime so often, considering how few games they actually played against each other. And LeBron wasn't wrong for doing so. He clearly had a size and speed advantage and the role on his team where he could call for a spread floor and just go to work on a variety of mostly perimeter shots. I'm not going to say Ime got no stops. Of course, there were some possessions where he forced shots to be way off. But it does feel like there's some lingering feelings here from their playing days that has bled into the games now. Perhaps Ime has always felt LeBron is a little soft. And LeBron has been out to prove him wrong ever since. And that is how we got to one of the strangest moments the NBA has ever seen. And the best way to experience this kind of thing would be in person. So use SeatGeek to buy your tickets, save $20 off your first purchase with my code BBALL, and you'll be able to enjoy all these types of highlights knowing your tickets will be delivered right to your phone.